how do you feel physically at this point in time? I mean, uh, as far as tennis is concerned, are you healthy? Yes, I am healthy. And since Wimbledon, I've uh, been working a lot uh, in the gym and on the court as well. And so I'm hoping to, you know, take some small steps in the right direction uh, with these next tournaments coming up. You're working with Agassi too. When was that that you were able to hit the court with him? Uh, that was a, a week ago or even less. Um, I was out in Vegas and so I was very lucky and, and grateful and honored to have him on the court with me and, uh, you know, just get a little bit of insight in his brain. He's so smart about tennis. What's the best piece of advice maybe he gave you or anything in particular he left you with? Uh, well, just the way he sees the game, the tactical way. He just said tennis is simple and people are complicated. And, uh, you know, we just kind of talked about some basic maybe patterns and things I want to do on the court. And so that helped me a lot. Andre's an interesting um, subject. Did you, Have you read his book? Of course, yes. You did? Okay. So you understand what he went through, how he, he came to hate the game, um, um, and almost hated his father for um, pushing him into the game and walked away for it, from it for a period of time, and then rediscovered the uh, game of tennis. How has that influenced you, if at all? It's really interesting hearing from him and... Um from his trainer and from uh, just like his experience of, you know, falling so low in the rankings and then coming back up to number one. I just think that is so impressive. And um, I feel there are some similarities to me who I was at a higher ranking than I am now and have, have dropped. So it's kind of gives you inspiration that, of course, you know, you can do it. Obviously, he's an amazing player and has won eight Grand Slams and everything like that. But it shows that if you have it in you and if you do the work, then you can, um, you know, still perform at that level and come back. But he didn't like the game for a period of time. He didn't want to play for a period of time. I assume you haven't gone through that. Or have you? Well, I, I love playing tennis, but obviously there are some really, really tough moments in uh, a career like mine. And so uh, I've definitely had my fair share of days where I'm like, this is so hard. Why am I doing this? Yeah. <laughs> like we all do, I think, in all of our jobs. But tennis is, or as a, a you know, top sport um, where you're performing at the highest level, has that extra amount of pressure and um, you know, public attention. And so I think that that just adds to the, the stress level.